Welcome to the Moon Manifesting Podcast with Kyra Howarth. Hi, I'm Kyra, business astrologer, moon manifesting mama, author, teacher, and mentor. I teach you how to harness the energy of the moon, stars, and cosmos so you can manifest your dreams and discover a deeper purpose to your life. Hey there, welcome back to the Moon Manifesting Podcast. How are we all today? (laughs) I hope you guys are doing so good. I hope that you are living your best life and feeling amazing. And if you're not, I'm going (laughs) to share with you exactly how, because today's episode is all about how to shine your light into the world. So it's all about living to your highest potential, being your authentic self, and not holding yourself back, like overcoming your fears so that you can live your best life. And of course, I'm going to be throwing a bit of astrology into this episode as well. I'm going to be using your astrology chart to help you understand more about exactly how you can shine your light into the world and yeah, shine your light, <laughs> being your authentic self. Uh, yes, yeah, so What's your word for the year is what I'm going to start off this episode with. What is your word for the year? So uh, if you've been listening to my podcast, you'll know that uh, one of my rituals that I do for the year ahead is to set a word for the year. And this word is, uh, you know, how I want to feel for the year or what I want to be for the year or just a word that I want to be as the theme for the year, right? So my word for 2023 is shine. And I picked shine because I, well, originally I wanted to pick Kyra and I thought, well, that would be weird using my own name as my word for the year. (laughs) It sounds weird saying that out loud. (laughs) So I'm kind of glad I I chose shine. (laughs) But like, I just wanted something that really, um, (laughs) still laughing, um, I wanted a word that would help me (laughs) feel like my authentic self, that would really help me to overcome any fears that hold me back and just let me just be me. I just really had this calling this year to step into my authenticity, to just be me without any fears about what other people think or anything like that. And so after I was like, okay, I can't choose my own name, I I came up with the word shine. And so shine is my word. So that's really what's prompted me to record this episode today, because I want to talk more about what it means to shine your light into the world and how you can shine your light into the world too. Because I feel this is something that's really important uh, because for so long I have been hiding my light. And, you know, it doesn't feel good to hide your light when you have so much light that you want to share into the world. And so I kind of just got to this point where I was sick of holding myself back. So, yeah, (laughs) that's what I'm going to be talking about today. How, How to overcome your fears, how to stop holding yourself back so that you can shine your light to your fullest potential. So let's start off by thinking about where you have been letting fear hold you back, or maybe it's not even fear. Maybe you've just been holding yourself back from other reasons. It may not be fear, but fear, I think, is probably one of the most common reasons that we tend to hold ourselves back, whether that's fear of what other people will think. Maybe it's fear of failure. Maybe, you know, it's another fear that you have. So where have you been holding yourself back? Have a think about that now. Maybe, you know, it stopped you from taking that next step in your work. Maybe it stopped you from starting up your own business. Maybe it stopped you from speaking up in public situations or in social situations. Maybe you've been holding yourself back in your relationships. So have a think there about where that fear has been holding you back or where you've just been holding yourself back if fear isn't applicable for you. And how has that 
stopped you from manifesting your best life. So where have you been holding yourself back, whether it's from fear or something else, how has that stopped you from showing up and manifesting the life that you truly want to manifest for yourself? So what we're looking for here is those blocks that maybe you haven't created, but these, these blocks that you have and how they're stopping you from shining your light. So once we can find those blocks, we can begin to overcome those blocks. So once you find where that fear is holding you back and you begin to see how that's holding you back, what's, what that is stopping you from doing, like whether it's stopping you from being your best self or from manifesting what you truly want or whether it's stopping you from speaking up and sharing your voice and your ideas Whatever it is, let's find that block and let's begin to overcome it. <laughs> so what if you knew that you couldn't fail? What if you knew that you could not fail? Think about that again. What if you knew you could not fail? How would that feel? Would that make you feel more confident? about taking that big scary step that you've been holding yourself back from? Would that make you just do the thing rather than stopping yourself because you're afraid or you're scared? So what if you knew that you would be supported no matter what? What if you knew that, you know, you could show up as your authentic self and you'd be supported? What if you knew that you could take that next step in your business or your career and you'd be supported? What if you knew that you could change everything about your life, but you would still be supported? How would that feel? What would you change? What would you do if you knew that you could not fail and that you'd be supported no matter what? So these are some really powerful questions because it's removing that fear. It's removing those blocks that we were just talking about that have been holding us back. So what if you could remove those blocks, remove that fear and trust that you are supported and trust that you cannot fail? How would you shine your light? What would you be doing differently? So some powerful questions for you, for you right now. And I hope that this is starting to tick over some thoughts in your mind and you're beginning to think how your life could be different if you stopped holding yourself back and if you allowed yourself to shine to your fullest potential. So we're going to have a look at three specific things on your natal chart right now that will help you dial down into some ways that you can really shine your light to your fullest potential and bring more positivity into your life and feel confident about yourself and your unique gifts that you have to share with the world. So the first thing that we're going to look at on your natal chart, and if you don't already have your natal chart, by the way, you can get a free one online really quickly and easily. You can go to astro-charts.com. You can go to astro.com or just Google it free natal chart, <laughs> pull up your free natal chart. Um, and yeah, let's, let's get going. Or if you already have one, get it <laughs> wherever it might be. <laughs> um, and yeah, let's dive in to these three things about shining a light. So number one is your sun sign. So you, you probably don't even need to look at your natal chart to know your sun sign. You probably know already what zodiac sign your sun is in, uh, because, you will probably just know, like, you know, I'm a Gemini or you're a Scorpio or you're a Libra or whatever it might be. You probably already know what your sun sign is. So the sun in astrology on your natal chart is all about your authentic self, the area of your life where you're meant to be shining your light. So wherever your sun is on your chart, whether that's, uh, you know, what house that's in and the zodiac sign that's in, this is going to tell you exactly how you're meant to be shining your light into the world. So 
if you have no idea what the houses mean, I'm not going to go through them all in this episode uh, because I feel like I do that in almost every episode. But if you go down to the show notes below, I will have a handy little astrology cheat sheet for you that's going to go through some keywords for each of the houses and the zodiac signs as well as the planets. Uh, so yes, your little astrology cheat sheet. <laughs> Keep it handy for future Moon Manifesting podcast episodes, okay? Because you know you're going to need it. So yeah, find your sun on your natal chart, find the house it's in and find the zodiac sign it's in. So as an example here, uh, my sun is in Gemini in my eighth house. So the zodiac sign is about like the flavor of, of the, of the sun, I guess. And the houses represent the area of life. Okay, so there's these 12 areas of life that are represented by the 12 houses. So with my son being in Gemini, then the flavor of my light, how I'm meant to shine my light, is about through talking, through sharing my ideas, through communication and connecting with others. One of the ways that I shine my light is through, you know, showing up on my podcast and talking about stuff or, you know, chatting on social media. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is like literally how I meant to shine my light as a Gemini. Now, going a bit deeper into the houses with my sun in Gemini in the eighth house, then I'm meant to shine my light into the world through sharing my ideas about the eighth house themes of uh, the eighth house is like a taboo topic. So it's kind of like, you know, about your fears funny that that's exactly what I'm talking about today <laughs> shining my light by showing up on my podcast talking about our fears and overcoming them um but like yeah the eighth house is about fears and making money or even things like drugs and sex and things that are you know generally hush hush and not spoken about openly uh, but this is how I'm meant to be shining my light into the world by talking about those things and bringing them out into the open uh so yeah on your chart Find where your sun is and figure out how you're meant to be shining your light into the world. So the next thing that we're going to be looking at on your natal chart is your Jupiter sign. So your Jupiter, uh, Jupiter is all about like optimism and positivity and good luck and prosperity and happiness. So when you're finding your Jupiter on your chart, Jupiter is going to help you understand what brings you most joy into your life? Because when you have joy in your life, when you're feeling happy, that helps you shine, right? If you're depressed and sad, you're not shining your light. You're kind of coming inwards and, and yeah, hibernating a bit. But when you feel happy and joyful, then you're more expansive, which is another keyword for Jupiter. <laughs> uh, so finding Jupiter on your chart is going to help you understand how you can find the most joy and good luck in your life. So another example, uh, my Jupiter is in Gemini in my seventh house. So what that means is that I find the most joy and luck in my life by sharing my ideas. There's that that Gemini coming in again with the Jupiter. Uh, but I share my ideas, but in one-on-one -on -one, uh, situations. So when working or talking with people, uh, like in an individual setting. So that brings me more joy in my life uh, and, and more good luck. So it will be different for you depending on wherever Jupiter is on your chart, unless you're like me and have <laughs> Jupiter and Gemini in your seventh house. But find where Jupiter is on your chart. So find that zodiac sign that's going to help you understand the energy of it. And then the house is going to help you understand what area of your life uh, you're going to find that joy and that happiness. And again, don't forget to get that cheat sheet from my show notes below if you have no idea about what the houses mean or anything, because that will really help you. 
So the third thing that we're going to be looking at on your natal chart to help you understand about how to shine your light <laughs> is by finding your lucky star. So your lucky star is also known as Pars Fortunae or Part of Fortune. So this is actually not a planet in the sky that you can see. It's an Arabic part, which is calculated. And there's two different ways that you can uh, calculate this. Uh, so depending on whether your sun is uh, between like the first and sixth house, if, whether it's on the bottom half of your chart, uh, then <laughs> it's going to be calculated a different way than if your sun's on the top half of your chart. But basically it's your ascendant, your rising sign, plus your sun sign if your sun's down the bottom or plus your moon sign if your sun's up the top uh, and then minus either the, the sun or moon depending on which one you just added. That's probably way too complicating but you don't need to figure it out because it will show up on your astrology chart and if it doesn't show up on your astrology chart there may just be uh, a thing that you need to toggle. Uh, so when you go to astro.com to bring up your Pars Fortune, you'll need to go to the extended chart selection and there will be uh, like you'll scroll down and there'll be like, you know, asteroids and stuff that you can add in and you'll find Pars Fortune or Part of Fortune. But I'm pretty sure on astro.com it's Pars Fortune. So yeah, find your lucky star. And if you have any trouble with that, just reach out because I'll be so happy to point you in the right direction. I know that was probably a bit confusing. <laughs> Um, but you lucky star, like I said, it, it's it's about bringing more luck into your life, as as the name suggests, uh, as well as like bringing in good fortune and prosperity into your life. So this can be a really fun area to lean into on your chart because it can help you to find that luck and that good fortune and to shine that out into the world. So another example here for you, using my own chart as an example again, <laughs> my Pars Fortune is in my fifth house in Pisces. And so what this means for me is that I get more, I bring more luck into my life when I do creative processes, but just for fun. So that Pisces energy is about, uh, you know, creativity or spirituality and rest and, and that sort of thing. But yeah, like kind of like a spiritual creativity energy. <laughs> and the fifth house is about fun and recreation and play. Uh, so that's how I bring more luck and fortune into my life through that creativity just for fun. Uh, so yeah, find out where your lucky star is and what that means for you, how you can bring some more luck and fortune into your life. Because all of these things that I've just talked about, like your lucky star bringing more luck into your life, Jupiter bringing more positivity into your life, and of course your sun, like how you're meant to shine your light, all of these things are going to be able to help you to shine your light into the world, to overcome your fears and to feel more confident about exactly what it is that you're here to share with others uh, and how you can shine your authenticity out into the world because you don't have to hold yourself back. We all have these beautiful, unique things that we are here to share with others. And sometimes we just need a bit of help to find exactly what that is. And that's what I'm here for. So if you do want to know more about how you can shine your light into the world, maybe you want to know more about your astrology chart, or maybe you just need some help overcoming some fears so that you can step into the, and step into your highest potential, get in touch. I have some free discovery calls lined up available for this month. So get in touch if you'd like a free chat with me. We'll jump on Zoom for a little chat about how astrology can help you. I'll have a quick look at your chart. Um, and yeah, I'd love to chat with you and connect with you because that's <laughs> that's what my Jupiter is all about, right? Like Gemini in the seventh house, it's about <laughs> connecting with people in those one-on-one -on -one situations. So yeah, feel free to jump into the show notes below where you can book one of those free calls because that's what I love doing. <laughs> all right. I hope that this episode has been really informative and super helpful to help you shine your light. I hope this that this episode has given you a boost of confidence and has helped you understand how you can shine your light. 
shine to your fullest potential. You don't have to hide. You don't have to hold yourself back. It is safe for you to shine your light out into the world. It is safe to be you. So until next time, stay magical, stay manifesting and stay tuned. I'll speak with you very soon on the next episode of the Moon Manifesting Podcast. Bye for now. Thank you for listening to the Moon Manifesting Podcast. If you're wanting more moon magic, check out my book, Moon Manifesting. Download your free Moon Manifesting calendar or connect with me on social media. You can do all of that at kyrahoweth.com.au. Stay magical, stay manifesting and stay tuned. I'll speak with you in the next episode.